What's happening, y'all? It's your man Sam and here at Viral Hip Hop News. Listen, do me a favor. You see the brother right now on your screen. Go down to my description box and follow Chakra Doctor at Chakra Doctor TV on YouTube. Your only place to find miracles you won't put down. Grab the House of Lazenberry series by author Daniel Webb since it's controversial interview at the Hip Hop Uncensored podcast. The books can't stay on the shelf. Grab the series, The House of Lazenberry, The House of Lazenberry 1970 H, and The House of Lazenberry, A Time to Hill. Link in the description box. What up, what up, y'all? It's your man Sam Ant here at Viral Hip Hop News. Go ahead and hit that like button. Smash that notification bell. And if you're not subscribed to Viral Hip Hop News, ladies and gentlemen, what are you waiting for? Subscribe right now to the brand. Appreciate each and every one of y'all. All right, let's get to work. So by now, I'm sure all of y'all have seen the whole terrible situation between WAC 100 and Hassan Campbell, what WAC 100 had to say in a leaked phone conversation about Nipsey Hussle, about Big U, and a number of other people. Just a real disgusting situation. Not a lot of people are very happy about it. One of those people being West Coast OG, Bounty Hunter OG, Nino Cappuccino. Now, I talked to this brother on the phone a couple days ago, and I won't discuss what we talked about in private. But I saw this video that he dropped on IG, and I'm going to play a little bit of the clip that he talked about addressing WAC 100 and the situation. Like I said, it's only a clip. If you want to see it in its entirety, and I strongly suggest y'all do, Head over to his IG, Rules of Engagement Media, so you can check out the full one hour and some change conversation in its entirety. But I'm going to play a little bit of an excerpt so you guys can get an idea of what is going on right now and how Nino Cappuccino is feeling. So hit that like button, share this video, and of course leave a comment in the comment section. Let us know what you think about what Nino Cappuccino had to say. All right, without further ado, Nino Cappuccino, let's go. And speak. From an advocate standpoint, and that shit only comes from the heart. See, I only do this shit, bro, because it really comes from my heart. I'm really for change, unlike a lot of these old fake-ass ninjas on this internet. I'm really here to see change, bro. I'm really here for change. So individuals who call me and call my phone and try to pull me in on certain things, the reason why I'm not sitting at the table with a lot of these niggas is because they fake. They fake ass advocates. They fake niggas who's representing these communities behind these closed doors who really ain't for the communities, ain't for the people, by the people, to the people. So Big Cap get cuts out. I get cuts out of the budgets. I get cuts out of the checks. I'm right now trying to put, you know, I've been trying to get put two of my OG homies that I grew up with. Get two of my homies a part of jobs, a part of the city for the for the William Nixon Garden to represent our projects. I'm trying to get my homies pulled in a part of these city situations and city contracts. But they, they squeeze niggas like me and keep me at bay. They keep me out the, out the loops. Because they know, oh, we can't let him in. He's too true. He's a real loyal advocate. If we let him in, he going to bring the people. That's what the fuck I supposed to do. That's what Joe Jackass was supposed to be doing. But instead, they look out for theirs. And then a lot of niggas don't even look out for theirs. They just look out for their own significant, their family. They don't look out for the people in their communities. It's a lot of you communities out here don't know these fake ass advocates that y'all got representing y'all communities are getting money. They get paid. They don't cap salaries and they get paid. That's how they survive it. And they're not flourishing this money back to the communities. They're not giving these contracts back to the, to the communities they're supposed to be given, bro. Y'all don't know this because y'all not educate yourself. You're not, sit, you're not sitting in the right seats and the right saddles in the right position. You're not riding the, the right correct horses to know these things. So my people got to start empowering themselves. So instead, so because my people are not in position just yet to empowering themselves, this is why I'm trying to put two of my homies in position, bring my homeboys in that I grew up with, that I know. Feel me? Shout out to the homie LB, man, Big Loaf, man, doing great things down there in the hood in the community, man. Changed his life as well, man. You know of growth, growth, man, growth. Change his life as well, man, and doing, you know, doing real advocate shit, man. And he's one of the cats that I, I've been trying to really, really push a line for. So he, because what I do, as far as my presence of giving back in my communities, then I got homies that are already in certain positions. This is why I want to give back through to my homies' organizations and give through my homies. That's my way of giving back and putting shit in perspective. This is how we able to bring things together, man, and unify this shit. So, yeah, man, um, uh, um. Moving along, like I'm saying, I didn't really see the interview. So once I seen this interview, man, oh, shit. Man, look at here. This is my opinion. Hey, Wack, check this out, homie. 
First of all, dog, you got on this internet, bro, in the last five years, six, several, several, eight, nine years, probably a decade, and you build a certain characteristics for yourself as a damu to the world. And I just said this shit a few days ago to the world, so I'm going to say it again to you niggas out there at the TV land, especially all you fake bloggers and all you fucking niggas on this bullshit-ass clubhouse. I can't stand clubhouse. Fuck all the clubhouses. If you got a clubhouse and your clubhouse is negative and your clubhouse don't deliver positive messages and I can't, I can't get on your clubhouse and I can't hear individuals speak and talk about real, pertinent, positive, good topics that's delivering a message to our people and to the culture, then fuck your clubhouse, nigga. Your clubhouse is distorted, they're poison, and it ain't shit. When you get on these clubhouses, it sounds like a fucking walkie-talkie. It sounds like you on a walkie-talkie, man, and you riding. If you ever ever rode in a diesel, if you ever rode in a truck with your grandfather, your granddad, or your father, well, you wouldn't know these things because you niggas didn't grow up as kids. But anywho, if you ever been on a CB, and you click on the CB, breaker, breaker one, breaker one, 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 four, this is breaker one, one, four, and you break, and you let off the breaker, you will hear all type of individuals speaking in the background that are truckers. That's how this goddamn bullshit fucking uh, clubhouse sound, man. Like a bunch of truckers, a bunch of lame ass, sorry ass, punk coward niggas, man. They're supposed to be grown men and everybody gangsters and killers on here talking madness. And you can't even understand this shit. Because everybody talking at once. Ah, I mean, I mean, oh, nigga. Oh, son. Hey, son. Especially the New York niggas. Man, you New York niggas, man. Listen, bro. I, I, I'm not trying to set trip, homie. Or, or buy coastal trip. But right is right. And facts is facts. Y'all the worst of the worst for them goddamn uh, fucking goddamn uh, clubhouses. Especially when it comes to wacky, man. Y'all must think this nigga God of L.A. or something. I'm going to say it to you niggas again and bust you clubhouse niggas bu bubble, homeboy. I'm going to bust y'all bubble. Whack 100 don't run shit in Los Angeles. He don't run a fucking thing in the valleys. He don't run shit in Long Beach, shit in Compton, shit in South Central. Whack don't run a motherfucking thing when it comes to the streets of Los Angeles, when it comes to the industry of Los Angeles. Whack don't run shit. Whack is the CEO slash manager of his own destiny. Can't take that from that man. That man has built his own alliance, his own destiny. He has built his own capital, his own lane. You can't take that from him. You got to respect that. Respect is respect. So I'm giving y'all facts when it comes to these streets, when it comes to this blood thing, nigga, this Damu, this body hunter shit, this Pyru Swan, Pyru Swans, Bishops, Demon Lanes, two P's in the B's, this bloods in this city of Los Angeles, period. Whack, one hundred. Don't run a motherfucking thing, niggas. Now, that came out big cap mouth. Now, I ain't trying to create a situation. Now, if a nigga get his feelings, you take it how you want to take it. But whack. If you decide you want to respond, nigga, holler at me. Don't play that punk shit on this internet with me, nigga. Don't play that pity pat shit with me on the internet, homie. Because I ain't going for it, nigga. Because I'm going to reach out and holler at a nigga. And niggas be out talking about they drop addresses and all this old shit. I drop addresses. Man, don't play with me like that, niggas. Because I'm right here in the city. And I'll pull up on niggas and see what it do. Fuck your entourage. Fuck your bodyguards. Nigga, I got bodyguards and entourages too. I got soldiers and warriors I can bring with me too. But fuck all that. If you talking that shit, it's me and you. We don't need our crews. Whoever got a problem to beef with Big Nino Cappuccino, let it be me and your beef, nigga, me and you. Not your bodyguard, not your securities, not your homies that ain't got nothing to do with it, unless you niggas want to get in the way. And again, I don't give a fuck about none of that. Because shit is a phone call for me. The projects is a phone call for me, nigga. I got warriors down up in them projects, nigga. Real niggas. They love me. So I don't worry about this shit, nigga. I will push up on a nigga. Dare you niggas to rat pack me, stomp me out, jump on me, and see what the repercussions gonna be. You niggas ain't gonna be doing no venues. You ain't gonna be walking around LA no more and, and kicking in and, and thank you, entourage nigga. You jump on me, you rat pack me out, nigga. I dare one of you pussy ass niggas, nigga. See me at a venue and think you gonna stomp me out, stomp Big Cappuccino out, Nino Cappuccino. It ain't gonna happen, niggas. 
And I don't say that to be the toughest nigga. I'm saying that from facts, from being a real nigga from these streets and being a real reputable from Nixon Garden Projects, nigga. I can say that.